Is Harry Potter Jesus? He's not. Is Harry Potter Jesus? He's not. Is Harry Potter Jesus? He's not. I bet he is. I bet he is. He's not. Is Harry Potter Jesus? He's not. Is Harry Potter no. Jesus? He's not. Is Harry Potter He's Jesus? Not. I bet no. he is. I bet he is. No. I bet he is. No. Jesus. It's not Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> For the, last, for the last two weeks, every time I've gone to bed, that just plays in my head <laughs> over and over again. Uh, that's the male female of this year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's still not an answer question. <laughs> He's not. Okay. All right. Um, All right. Hey, uh, wel- welcome to hour five of Escape from Garbage Day as <laughs> a, a premise that does not have any legs we, whatsoever. We no. stuck to that branding so well, so yeah. well. We, we yeah. came up with we came up with the idea for the ad, and then never did anything else with it. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 perfect, perfect. So for this hour, we've got the document of Harry Jesus Christ Potter. Uh, with me today is Kumquats Up, Lemon, Adam Bozarth, Jack Chick, who actually sounds like Jack Chick this hour, and Dijon du Jour. Yeah. yeah. Hey, boots. Um, Hey boots! Mm-hmm. Hey boots! Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited about Harry Jesus Christ Potter. Mm-hmm. Um, but one of the reasons why I'm the most excited about Harry Jesus Christ Potter mm-hmm. is Umba. That's one of the yeah. reasons why. Yeah. In addition to that, I'm also excited about this hour specifically just because of how fucking good that song was. I feel like people yeah. would love to. Here's here's my thought, and this is just an <laughs> off the top of the dome. <laughs> thought that i just had literally right now okay wow. okay okay what if what if mm-hmm. somebody could like you know get their own song from boots rain gear oh yeah but, like what? on a ridiculously tight deadline you yeah can't. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well bye everybody <laughs> um yeah so uh God, what amount did i put that at two hundred dollars yep all right so if anybody donates two hundred dollars uh the first person to donate $200 in this hour and select it uh, in the rewards section of the donation form um, will get a song by me of the theme of your choice recorded next hour. Literally in the next hour. Yeah. So, so, the hour, so you've scheduled very few hours for yourself to be off. And in one of those hours, you're going to be composing a brand new song. Yeah. On start this to finish. Oh, yeah. From, from base, I'll, I'll record the process. Uh, and uh, it is your choice whether or not you want me to play it on stream or just send it to you privately so you can have it to yourself and not share with anybody else. So. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I have, I have a logistical question here. I have a logistical question. <laughs> is, is, is Harry Potter Jesus Christ? He's uh, not. He's not. No, no, that was an unanswered question. <laughs> So once again, uh, $200 and uh, Boots will do more terrible, <laughs> terrible decisions. <laughs> I've, <laughs> listen, I've already done 24 of these. What's yeah, one more? Yeah, I suppose you're right. <laughs> I, suppose, I suppose you're right. Um, so let's start off. Hey, Kumquat. Hello. Uh, have, you heard of, <laughs> have you heard of Harry Potter before? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's that? Okay. Well, I hear, I hear he's Jesus Christ. That's all I know. That's all I know so far. Wow! It's a dog on a skateboard. Can you can you read to me what is Harry Potter really about? Oh, I'm so excited to learn this. I, I keep hearing this word thrown around. I I assume it's some sort of uh, person that makes ceramics. Um. So, uh, hey, 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 what is Harry Potter really about? Uh, the aim of Harry Potter is to show how death can be vanquished, semicolon. How an ordinary mortal human being can enter a process of transmutation and transfiguration that will alchemically transform him or her into an eternal perfect child of God filled with overwhelming compassion for suffering humanity. Uh, that's not, that doesn't, that doesn't seem like making ceramics. Um, hey, hey, Kathor, just so you know, there's also a document on your stream. <laughs> Just want you to know that. If that's intentional, great. But you should know that. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I, th- I thought he drew that. 
Wow. Very, very elaborate really drawing. talented. <laughs> Kaylor draws the internet literally. <laughs> My art dot txt. Yeah. <laughs> ah! All the characters are symbols or personifications of aspects of the process, symbolically called making the philosopher's stone. Mm. With okay. this stone, mm. the alchemist can make gold, i.e. the gold of the spirit and the elixir of life, i.e. eternal life. It is the aim of this website to inform the world that the most popular book ever published. Citation needed. Which mm. one's that? The Bible. Oh, I, I, I thought it was a Tom Clancy novel. <laughs> Tells the most beautiful story ever told. The return home of the prodigal son to the arms of the father. We hope you enjoy your visit to our site, and we have succeeded in showing the depth and intensity of the spiritual power emanating from Harry Potter. Thank, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, Adam. Yeah, what? Yeah, we, uh, we haven't we haven't heard your your voice yet in this uh, in this marathon at all. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, definitely wow. not last hour. Mm -hmm. um, could no. you? Um, I don't. Know, could you read to us just the, the Harry Potter prayer? Um, but make sure maybe... to do it with just as much volume as Kumquat just did. <laughs> <laughs> the Harry Potter prayer and explanation. Oh, Holy man. Potter of the universe who are in heaven, hallowed be your Patronus. Oh, no. Oh, Christ. Oh, May the Christ. lily in my heart give oh. birth to Harry. I surrender my wand to you that I may use it only in conformity to your will. Feed and sustain my. <laughs> all, right, all right, everybody. Great podcast. Let's uh, shut it down now. Feed and sustain my inner Harry Potter so that he yeah. may kill the basilisk living at the root of my being when I have learned to forgive all the wrongs done to me by others. <laughs> <laughs> Send your phoenix when I am tempted and deliver me from the Voldemort in me. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, and then the document goes on to, uh, or I guess the website. What is the website? What is this website? What are we on? I didn't We're, even explain this. Harry Potter for uh, Jesus fucking Christ, Boots. It's like you've never been on the internet before. We are at HTTP, <laughs> not S. Colon, colon, colon slash slash Harry Potter for Seekers dot com. <laughs> Harry Potter for Seekers dot com is a WordPress site uh, started in uh, 2004. Um, and well, I'll just, you know, I'll just I'll just share the image on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this document was provided to us by Surrey. <laughs> oh, boy, the the entire you... city of, uh, of British yeah. Columbia. Yep. Yep. Thanks. Thank if you. you flip the change skin button, it flips what side the navigation bar is on. <laughs> Skins? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, like, uh, line one, holy potter of the universe who art in heaven. Dun, 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 the ancient dun, dun. Egyptians called God the primeval potter. And Isaiah 64, 8 says, O Lord, thou art our father, we are the clay, and thou art our potter. Oh, my God, I was right. <laughs> it is about uh, ceramics. <laughs> it is actually. <laughs> uh, 2B. May the lily in my heart give birth to Harry. May the kingdom in heaven within me, mm. Lily, open mm. up and give birth to your son, Harry Potter. May he become my new soul. Uh, uh, and deliver me from the Voldemort in me. Enable us to finally, sorry, enable us finally to defeat our microcosmic Satan, the force that ties us to this universe separated from the universe of God. There are five steps towards liberation hidden in this prayer. The numbers before these lines relate to the following steps. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Lemon. Yeah. What's up? Uh, uh, just let's skip insight and longing for liberation and go straight to self surrender. Self surrender, yeah. Self. I love that song by Cheap Trick. 
Sarand Mama's all right. <laughs> Dad is all right. Um, I'm still searching. That's, a that's, that's, there we go. It's hyphenated. Mm, yeah. Self surrender. The alchemist surrenders his will to God and turns his life into the prayer. Not my will, but your will will be done, O oh Lord. He gives up all earthly attachments and as he prepares to and prepares to die as to his old earthly self, he enters a process of transmutation. The Negrito phase. Um, um, then there's there's a new magical mode of life where the alchemist becomes Dumbledore's man and lives his life <laughs> from what his new immortal soul inspires him to do. His life becomes one of great striving for purity and selflessness, the albedo phase. And then, of course, when the alchemist has done all he can to surrender his will to God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 that prize got claimed. Yeah. yeah. And it's another song about veganism. Uh, <laughs> should, it, should it also be about Mario Kart? <laughs> no, sorry, Mario Party. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. We've also got a uh, another uh, donation incentive coming up very, very shortly. Um, but I just wanted to keep going into the liberation uh, phase. So when the alchemist has done all he can to surrender his will to God and to bring the process of transmutation as far as he can, he will face the last desperate efforts of his old microcosmic consciousness, i.e. Voldemort, to reverse the process and come back under his domination. He will tempt what the What does that alchemist. mean? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> He will tempt the alchemist and try to take over the new soul, uh, which is, you know, it's a, it's capitalized. So it's like a new, like a like reformation of the bouncing uh, souls. No, it's no, like, it's, it's like, like the, it's, it's new edition. No, it's like the new Jack swing. <laughs> They're Christian oh, rebirth. Yeah. <laughs> did you say, did you say new Jack swing? Because. Uh, <laughs> 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 there we go. Uh, but the alchemist is loyal to Dumbledore. Voldemort will fail, and the alchemist will himself become a living philosopher's stone. He will receive the divine spirit and enter eternity. The Rubido phase? The making of gold. I like wow. turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I, I so listen. I'm I'm getting more and more convinced that Harry Potter is actually Jesus. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> um, but uh, I'd I'd like to get into sort of like you know more the like the disciple uh, analogs in the story. So uh, check check. Yes. Uh, tell us about the Weasleys. Absolutely. Alchemy is a spiritual process involving the physical body as much as the invisible bodies. The endocrine system is involved very intimately with the process of transmutation and the transfiguration that changes a mortal, imperfect child of nature to an immortal, perfect child of the potter of the divine universe. Each endocrine gland is linked to an etheric astral organ called a chakra. The chakras look like whirlpools of light on the surface of the etheric body, and their function is to attract and absorb the various types of energy from the environment. In Harry Potter... <laughs> <laughs> In Harry Potter, the seven endocrine glands and their chakras are personified by the Weasley family. Wow! <laughs> In the normal child of nature, the chakras rotate in a clockwise direction and suck in natural energy from the fallen universe in which we live. That's like hot. the Weasleys. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this guy gets it. <laughs> One of the great changes achieved by transmutation is to bring the rotation of the chakras to a halt and then make them rotate in an anti-clockwise direction. They will then suck in the di divine energy space, 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 space. <laughs> from the eternal universe, lifting the alchemist above all limitation of time and space. 
Space, 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 space. Hey, Lemon. Yeah, what's up? Uh, God, there's uh, there's a bunch of character symbols here that are that are important to the the pantheon of the of the Harry Potter religion. Okay. Um, and that's great. But can that you tell great. me about K. Thor's incentive? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> thanks for bait switching me. Absolutely. <laughs> Follow your fucking logic. Oh, brick wall. Um, uh, I'm looking. I'm looking here. I'm looking here at these uh, drawings uh, from K. Thor. Uh, I love drawings from K. Thor in general. Um, and uh, and K. Thor, in fact, uh, wants to tell you something. Is that. Um, he actually will draw something for you. For example, if you like, Kathor Jensen will draw an unflattering character of you. <laughs> and you might be saying, is he serious? Is this something he actually is going to do? Well, yes, in fact, he will, because like this is the one that he drew uh, of me. And so <laughs> if you... <laughs> <laughs> it really highlights your hatchet wound. <laughs> Unless, I also like that it's now just completely dr- blocking whatever Kathor is. Yeah, whatever drawing. you're drawing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just my ugly face. I don't know. What is that? A Weasley Long to the side? I have no idea. I just see my my ugly fucking mug. Um. Uh, Kathar has put a number of these available, and so we uh, will be uh, we'll be uh, moving a number of these uh, during this hour and perhaps in other Kathar hours. Uh, but twenty dollars or more, you want to hit the next button when you donate, and then you can get yourself a drawing from Kathar Jensen. Is that what you wanted, Boots? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, the Salubrious Rex got one. Okay, great! Yay! Hey. Hey. Wow. <laughs> Uh, and also, uh, Lemon, read to us, read, read, read to us from the Book of James, book of James, James Potter, book Harry's book dad. Ja- it's just James, just the word James. Oh, just the oh. word James. Uh, People going full, uh, full Ben Garrison here, and just labeling all of the stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this one is is Harry. Okay. This is AOC. I really, I really hope Hagrid. I, re, I really hope Hagrid is the sickos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, All right. So- we need. To, we need to put, I'll put the poll up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Because that has to happen, too. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, while you're doing whatever that is, uh, I want to tell you about James. James is an animagus who can transform into Hanson. He is an animagus (laughs) who can transform into a stag. The stag symbolizes the Seeker's longing for liberation from the universe of time and space. And for the return to (laughs) humanity. Harry Potter. Um, uh, b- uh, okay, and for the return uh, <laughs> to humanity's original home, the kingdom of heaven, or Nirvana. James and Lily more like, unite. More like Soundgarden, but you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, James and Lily unite to give birth to a child who has been promised. To those who surrender to God's call and for the return of his lost children. Harry Potter is the new immortal soul born to the seeker who is willing to give up all that is earthly and finite, including his mortal self. Wow. What? Like, I don't know anything about Harry Potter, which makes me just, you know, just happy. Uh, Is that in general? Dad died. Okay, great. Yep. That's all you need. That's all you need to know about that paragraph. Works for me. Yep. Mom died, too. Dad, yep, dad, right, great. dad died, mom died. Cool. Um, so we've put up a poll now because uh, there's a choice for next hour on oh, which document we read. Right. Um, and the choice is between uh, short erotic statements about political figures or let's all fuck the coronavirus. <laughs> it's Which is a uh, an erotic story about uh, having sexual intercourse. Um, with, yeah, I can't uh, imagine which one of COVID. those will win. It's COVID nineteen. Not just one. It's actually it's actually multiple multiple erotic. Oh, tales. sorry. That's right. Yeah, it's multiple yeah. erotic tales about having uh, uh, coitus 
with COVID-19. <laughs> with the actual literal virus, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so so that's a thing. So when you're making your donations, you could there's a reward section where you can get the the Kthor thing. Or is that, is that finished? No, I'm I'm working on it. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to yeah, yep. to make it reappear. You get the yeah. I, I figured it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah. So we're already uh, we're already weighing real heavily on the uh, let's all fight the coronavirus. <laughs> really? <laughs> sorry, is, erotic statements of political figures, which is, which is frankly surprising. Yeah, uh, weird. <laughs> Kind of a relief, yeah. actually, because the political statements, the political figures one is repulsive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them that. Our fate is in their hands, you idiot. <laughs> they're both. They're actually. There's no good option. I'm dreading both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Safe. Agreed. Oh, hey, it's my favorite Harry Potter character, Dumbledore. <laughs> 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 Scott Adams Dumbledore. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Seems hey, like Dijon. this one has great opinions. Uh, Dijon, can you tell us about Voldemort? Yeah, let me just turn the chair around. You see, <laughs> Voldemort's, uh, Voldemort's a lot like Lucifer, the god of this fallen universe. From a human point of view, he is neither good, not evil. He is, he is neither good, not evil. Got it. Yep. Good. Yep. Yep. He's neither good. He's also not evil. He's nothing. He's shit. <laughs> you can take him. Fuck this guy. <laughs> He's interested only in power. Every human being also has his personal Voldemort. Wow. Your own okay. personal <laughs> Voldemort. <laughs> My Voldemort is crack cocaine. Here's my ice cream. You don't know. This is the force that carries our whole character, our talents and faults, our phobias, and our philias. It is immortal. Yeah. Somebody put Albert in a storm. You see that lightning on Albert right now? It's yeah. very scary. Is it? That, that's his Voldemort. Coming out. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit, erotic statements about political figures is winning. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is appropriately to too long. <laughs> Uh. Oh my god! Oh my god! I want to fuck Voldemort right in the nose. <laughs> where where can I buy goth merch? <laughs> Voldemort Voldemort has a clit on his face. He's got pube hair. <laughs> Wait, did you, did you finish that? I mean, uh, Satan tries to kill the new soul, but can't do so. It's clearly weakened by it. That's that's it. Voldemort's hey. Voldemort's Voldemort, Voldemort bad. Who cares? Yeah. Wow. Uh, a Jack chick. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're here for a reason. I don't want to get tortured. Sing us a song about Sirius. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. It's a dog on a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I literally had scrolled down and saw the song and was like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this was inspired by the experience of recognition of Joe Rowling's use of the symbol of Sirius Black. It is set to the tune of Hogwarts Hymn from the fourth Harry Potter movie. Yeah, so do it to that tune, please. Yeah, absolutely. Like, don't, uh, yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> don't differentiate from that song. Yeah. Once I was lost! <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't know which way to turn. Then a voice started calling to me. The voice of Sirius Black. And that's a bad name, bad name. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm afraid in the dark. And don't know which step to take. There's a light that is shining clearly. Bright star, serious black. Reckless and courageous in facing Voldemort. Loyal and loving fight. Loyal and loving fighting with Harry's foes. <laughs> Till finally he fell through the veil. Oh. No goodbyes for serious black. To 
I seek to escape this grim old place, but there's someone who escaped it for me. Prisoner Serious Black. Man, I had no Is idea how many Potter things Rock? Serious Black rhymes with. Yeah. Turn it up. <laughs> we were both imprisoned a long way from home. <laughs> but his van escape left a crack in the firmament. When God comes shining through. Now this has no to happen sometimes. I'm following Serious Black. <laughs> This actually happens sometimes. <laughs> In our physical recordings, which is that, like, uh, which is that, like, Discord just gives up on it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> which doesn't really show up in the audacity because you know we all like record locally. But in this case, just so you know, Jack Chick, yeah. the Discord has been like, nah, fuck, fuck a third of this song. <laughs> Good, I'm I'm glad that I uh, I made myself the uh, the asshole of the neighborhood for uh, you know no reason. I'm also glad about that. <laughs> That was so. That was so faithful to the original tune of the Hogwarts hymn. I just want to really, yeah, 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 sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think there's more, isn't there? <laughs> nope, that's it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Every other series has been loved together. They are two halves of the child of God. <laughs> okay, so we've learned about Harry. We learned about Sirius. I'm going to sure tell did. you about Harry and Sirius. Wow. <laughs> Harry ends like Harry slash Sirius. Is that what you're talking about? Absolutely. Great. Mm. Harry and Sirius essentially belong together. They are two halves of the child of God who was returned as the prodigal son to the arms of the father in the New Testament. Harry is Jesus. Sirius is Christ. Wait, those those are two different guys? Harry Harry is Jesus. <laughs> Sirius is Christ. Harry is Jesus. Jesus Sirius, Sirius is Christ. On cuck. On drain. On cuck. On drain. The Harry has the Jesus to Sirius the Christ. <laughs> um, Sirius grows from a bright but distant star to a sun that provides life-giving light, energy, and love. So there's that. There is that. Um, but also, I want to tell you about the Dursleys. Uh, wow. Those, those people are gross. Ugh. Oh. When the new soul is born in a human being, he comes to live in a hostile environment. The new soul originates from another universe, a magical world with totally different na natural laws. The muggles of this world cannot understand. Sorry. Mm cannot understand the new soul and reject its values. In the Old Testament, the Jews, on their way to the Promised Land, wander through the desert for 40 years. In the New Testament, Jesus wanders for around 40 days. Harry's life with the Dursleys is like living in a desert to him. They live at, no, sorry, oh, number four for the drive. <laughs> no. They live at no. <laughs> Four <laughs> Privet Drive. That, that's just like that's just like forty years and forty days. That's, that's yeah. the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and try to deprive him of everything he needs, apart from the most basic ones. Every character in Harry Potter is an aspect of our own being, and so the Dursleys live inside every seeker too. Wow. Honestly, I would much prefer if Harry po if in Harry Potter, Harry Potter did stay with the Dursley for forty years yeah. and was just a forty year old for the entire series of novels. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, <laughs> come quite. Oh boy. Oh yes. Oh Hello. boy. There's a real, real big section here called Dumbledore. How fast do you think you can get through it? <laughs> <laughs> this. <laughs> ah! Ah! Dumbledore personifies the healing, sanctifying spirit, the force which leads the alchemist through the great alchemical transfiguration, changing the seeker's light into gold and giving him the elixir of life. In the alchemical wedding of Christian Rosie Cross sees the ancient man living in the Tower of Olympus. He symbolizes the force from another universe, the universe of God, the sixth cosmic plane where God's plan is carried out fully. This spirit is able to transcend our fallen universe only temporarily, as the divine force cannot manifest itself in a universe which does not vibrate in harmony with the divine plan. 
However, <laughs> it does so as a sacrifice, which results in its voluntary death. This is not a real death in the sense that we know it, but a symbolic death, which means a total surrender of the forces of this universe and being buried in it, as it were, resulting in the glorious resurrection of this original divine being. This is foreshadowed by the phoenix, which arises from the flames of Dumbledore's cremation. In the alchemical wedding, there is also a funeral with the phoenix present. Just as Christ is betrayed by Judas and Arthur by Mordred, so is Dumbledore is betrayed by Snape. <laughs> However, this is not a real betrayal, but a necessary uh... step in the alchemical wedding of spirit, soul, and personality or bodily system. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Was that fast enough? <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay, thanks. I don't know. I think he. Can I can do, do it again. <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> hey, oh, uh, hey, hey, Bozarth. Yeah. Tell us, tell us about uh, Dobby. <laughs> I'm just, Dobby? At Do I'm just looking at Hogman here. Yeah, just Hogman's on there. <laughs> oh, like, I'm not sure if that's a belly button or a penis. <laughs> It's something. Could be both. <laughs> uh, so Dobby, the center for a sec. So yeah, yeah, he's drawing. Yeah, Dobby. 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 Dobby personifies the etheric body of the alchemist in the earthly human being. The etheric body is a slave of the physical body and is always attached to it. At certain stages of the alchemical process, the etheric body is detached from the physical body and becomes a wondrous vesture that serves the new soul in the process of transfiguration. Dobby is freed by Harry in book two, and ever since, Dobby is very helpful to Harry. He helps Harry in the second trial in book four and shows Harry where to find the room of requirement, which is just like we all experience, right? I'm, you st know, I'm, you know. I'm, st I'm still just trying to figure out what vesture means. I'm sorry. Yeah, a vesture. <laughs> What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, it's a it's a gesture you can wear. <laughs> it's, it's Neil Big Ass. Neil Big Ass. Uh, <laughs> well, that is a big ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's long. It's a long. No, wait, ass. It's, it's British. I think it's Nile Big Ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Lemon. Yeah. Um, I get I get fucking sick of hearing about Harry Potter characters. Yep. Well, I, me too. <laughs> I want to get into actual like you know proper uh, Christianity uh, like like lore and shit. Okay. So can you tell me what alchemy is? Okay. Well, yeah, sure. What is alchemy? Well, that's fucking easy. Alchemy is not a boring study of musty old books and manuscripts full of mysterious diagrams and indecipherable texts, as you might think. The serious study, alchemy. The living alchemy we're talking about here is the method of charming a human from being a mortal right. biological phenomenon of nature to an immortal child of the divine spirit. This is symbolically referred to... <laughs> <laughs> this is symbolically referred to as turning lead into gold. Okay, so uh, I don't understand anything about it. Like turning lead into gold is actually the it's that's actually the okay, okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> Symbolically. No. Symbolically. Yeah. I like turtles. <laughs> like, I was like, like turtles too, kid. It was like when Carl Jung, like, you know, tried to for years get into alchemy and success and failed. And then he was like, I didn't mean actually turning lead into gold. <laughs> I meant it as a metaphor. I'm, I meant finding myself. <laughs> <laughs> to do this, you need a philosopher's stone. Uh, where can you obtain this? You have to make it. What? The death of self-sacrifice is not at all painful. As Sirius tells Harry in part seven, what is painful is the purification of the whole human being and the severing of ties that bind us to this three-dimensional universe. This is the process of transmutation, which is divided into three phases in alchemy called negrito, albedo, and rubido. The self-sacrificial death of the old human being is symbolized in Harry Potter by the death of Voldemort's eighth, eighth soul fragment behind Harry's scar. Mm. It's a book for grown-ups. Harry comes back mm -hmm. from the death and liberates Wait, you mean the, the Bible. 
<laughs> liberates the world of evil. What, wow. what this means in actual practice is that the old biological consciousness is swallowed up in victory. It is taken by the new divine consciousness, which is... Um, oh, my um, fucking God. Wow. Capitalized new divine consciousness because it's, a, it's one of those Prince uh, side projects. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A new divine consciousness, uh, like a candle flame merging into the sun. That wow. is what Harry Potter is really about. Death and resurrection. Entering wow. the resurrection is an experience of unbelievably joyous rapture that never ends. Wow. The, yeah, sounds great, right? <laughs> Am I talking you into killing yourself yet? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How many more words do you need before you go through with this? experiencing God living in his heart. And this means total love in his heart, radiating from him, embracing all creatures and working towards bringing all of them back to God. This state is like a permanent orgasm of the heart. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Yes. Sign me up. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Nothing I can do. It's a permanent <laughs> orgasm of the heart. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> uh. um. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's a determined orgasm of the heart, which makes the person want to dance and shout with ecstasy and wanting to embrace. I always actually dance it's... during my orgasms. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is all sandstorm based religion. Just, just, just like, just like boots. When I come, I jump on a coffee table and do hardcore dancing. Thank you. <laughs> I used to skank, but I, I got over yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, making the person want to dance and shout with ecstasy and wanting to embrace everyone to bring them back into the father's arms. Cool. Yep, it is cool. You're right. Very good. Definitely so cool. cool. I love how it's just fucking cool. Love how cool all of this. I don't want to embrace someone too quickly because you are sticky. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I want to tell you about the seven horcruxes and liberation. Only seven? Actually, I don't, but I'm going to. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here is a table of horcruxes and what they symbolize. <laughs> It's important to understand what Voldemort symbolizes. Before reading this, we all have a Voldemort living in us. He is the unholy force living in our microcosm and survives between our inclin incarnations. Is that like my tapeworm? Yep. Okay, thank you. Yes, and. <laughs> <laughs> he is often called the higher self and is, simply put, the accumulation of the results of all our past actions outside the divine plan. The Horcruxes symbolize seven chains which the higher self uses to tie us to itself. Just like Harry, we all have the job of killing the seven Horcruxes, after oh, yeah. which we must yeah. face our Voldemort, now mortal, for the last duel. It's not my so, Voldemort. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so the everybody knows everybody knows the seven horcruxes. So let's all say them together now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's the diary of Tom Riddle, which is obviously the subconscious oh, mind. God damn uh, it! Yeah, the the ring of Paravel. Uh, that is obviously the ring or wall of the microcosm with its twelve strong focal points. Yeah, what? yeah. Thank you, Ironicus. Yay! Hey, thanks, Ironicus. Our old friend Ironicus. Yeah. Giving us a mbop. Things are going very well in the stream, other than having to hear this nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> Would love more money to go to that let's fuck the coronavirus vote. Yeah, who's, who's winning? Who's winning right now? Yeah, oh, it's definitely just, the fig politics. political figures are totally. Just so, oh, you know, no. just so you know, I wrote a theme song in the loaf where the coronavirus won. Yeah. <laughs> just saying. You know, you know what? I will say, I will say that there was a time, there was a very beginning where I was like, oh boy, uh, I'm not really looking forward to this thing. And then like like 15 minutes of Harry Potter happened, and I was like, yeah, bring on the erotic statements of political figures, goddammit. You know, I, I understand everybody's impulse here, but like, get back to the Harry Potter. We got time to fill here. Okay, all right, yep, all yep, right. here we go, here we go. Okay, the locket of Slytherin. Um, it's the emotional consciousness <laughs> in the heart. These are all just, you know, yeah. actual, is this, is this Catholic shit? Probably Catholic shit. Probably the Catholic cup of Hufflepuff, no, which no, is uh, obviously the Holy Grail. Uh, 
which is the chest and throat region. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because oh, that's yeah. where the dick sucking happens. So. This entire <laughs> website is available in eight different rel- religions. Or sorry, uh, Eng- uh, eight, different eight different religions. Eight different religions. Wow. Yep. Yep. Harry, Harry Buddha Potter. English, Netherlands, <laughs> uh, Deutsch, Francois. Anyway. I, like I was about to, I was about to say it's one of the, it's one of those coexist things, but it's all Harry Potter symbols. But that actually, I know that exists, and oh, I'm sure absolutely. I've seen it. Yep. I'm sure I've seen it already. Yeah. yeah, in this house, we put shit on our bumpers. Go to Whole Foods. There are at least five cars with that on the back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's the tiara of Ravenclaw, which is the head, the snake, uh, which is the serpent fire and the spine, and the scar, which is the eye consciousness. Now, now available on Apple. I I want I want I want well, I I want a, a Whole Foods bumper sticker that has a picture of my stick figure family, but it's Kathor's drawings. <laughs> Speaking of, he's got twenty. I'm going to put one more on the. Oh well, wow, yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm just going to throw one more on there in case any of you are still interested in an unflattering caricature from Kathor Jensen. Where were we? Uh, still in this document, right? Yeah, we're still in this document. We got oh, another God. We got another nine minutes of this. this hey, okay, I don't know. Who wants to read? <laughs> <laughs> Adam. Yeah, what, what did I do? Uh, um, can you read us the? Uh, can you read us a, a book review of... Uh, G- wait. <laughs> oh, the synopsis of Jesus Potter Harry Christ by Derek Murphy. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Book reviews. Uh, yeah. Jesus and... Potter Harry Christ. <laughs> yeah. Need between Jesus and Harry to reopen the debate over the historical Jesus. <laughs> Arguing that both Harry and Jesus are spiritual metaphors told in the literary form of historical fiction. Excelsior! (laughs) (laughs) With hundreds of footnotes and references from both ancient mythology and modern culture, Jesus Potter Harry Christ (laughs) is a slash and arresting account of Christian history that is not predicated on the flesh and bones of a historical founder. From ancient mystery religions to modern fairy tales, from fictional Hogwarts to the ruins of Jerusalem, Derek Murphy, PhD in comparative literature at one of the world's top universities, zooms in on one crucial question. Come on. How do we separate the obvious mythical literature of Jesus Christ from the historical man himself? Yay! Great. <laughs> You get, then you get punched in the face and your beak spins around. Yeah, my my name is uh, Julie Ann Sky uh, Sky um, okay. Yeah, Harry Potter power uses motifs and situations from the popular Harry Potter series and links them to theories and strategies designed to help young people overcome anxiety, anger, depression, and grief. It combines a fun, innovative. That's what we've been reading, right? Things that are fun and innovative. Yeah. <laughs> fun and innovative use of oh well known Harry Potter icons. Harry Potter. Let me can you put that book cover yeah, up yeah, on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me yeah. finish let me finish reading this and then I will yeah. absolutely put that back on screen. Uh, hang on just a moment. Uh but uh, yeah. Uh, uh, practical, thought-provoking, and with strong relevance to real-world issues, Harry Potter power is an ideal tool to help young people develop resilience and self-esteem. Somebody read something else so I can share this picture. In addition, um, Dumbledore's name is based on the Bumblebee, while the bee is part of the <laughs> <laughs> Another common point, which just like the roses, points out towards the successful great work. The beehive is an image similar to that of the maze, which represents the journey of the alchemist that starts the great work, while honey represents quintessence, the achieved journey. 
Beetle is also close phonetically to beetle, which symbolism That's is pretty, quite yeah, pretty similar close, to yep. that of the bee. Yeah. Yeah. Bees, beetles, and butterflies are all symbols of purification and the rebirth of the soul or essence. Therefore, as Joe has stated that both Dumbledore and Hermione talk for her in the series, I think we safely can say, based on the aforementioned connection, that Beetle does too. A troubling detail of the introduction is the fact that Joe adds that Dumbledore's notes on the tales were completed around 18 months before the tragic events that took place at the top of the Hogwarts Astronomy Tower, which means around Christmas time in the OOTP, a white snowy winter <laughs> 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 this is also fucking inscrutable like, are, you, fuck. are you reading from the book what is this <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you I, notice there's like a link at the bottom of the dock i just went there and <laughs> giant fucking wall of text <laughs> so i just started in the middle of it <laughs> good <laughs> Carpet day! <laughs> it sure as fuck is. Four more minutes, What can you bring us? What can you bring us? Um, uh, oh, God. Uh, 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 here's, what did we learn today? Uh, just, I don't know. I just want Kumquat to read this chunk of text I just found from this page. Ashes, tears, drunk by the worm, also represent the mercurial waters that cleanse the blackened matter. Asha's name, which contains ash. Yes, it does. That is what remains after calcination and alchemy fits very well this part of the great work also. Okay, that's enough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, F+, plus, what do you think we learned today? I mean, oh, it, this particular hour, we've learned a lot that today. Yeah, we've learned a lot today. Uh, uh, in this particular hour, like, this is actually evidence of, like, literally you've read two books. <laughs> like, <laughs> you've literally read the Bible and Harry Potter, and then you're like, well, there's similarities. <laughs> Numbers at the bottom of the page? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Characters? <laughs> I, I, I learned that having a generic literature degree does would would make me uh, extremely uh, qualified to be a biblical scholar mm -hmm. wait wait hang on come quite up this is i want to hear i want to hear this uh -oh. come <laughs> excuse me excuse me yep <laughs> the second visitor complains about the loss of his donkey Mm -hmm. uh, making the pot issue braise of donkey and groans of hunger as a result of the wizard's refusal to help in alchemy, the donkey is connected to antimony, which is used to purify the matter of the stone. By way of phonetic Kabbalah, that is alchemical play on words, antimoine in French is similar to antimone, that is shaft donkey! Tim and Y. Granger. <laughs> yeah! Based on a biblical reference. Shaft um, donkey. Uh... I just I just saw a uh, a picture or a, a question in the chat. As far as like like a bunch of these donation incentives will require some sort of feedback. We've got your email. Like if if feedback needs to be you know like you'll probably end up sending Kathor a picture. We'll take we'll take care of it. But obviously a couple days after the marathon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't, don't expect yeah. us to go like well let's switch over to this now. Uh, Twelve thirty on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um hey 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 boots hey, hey come quiet did we learn if harry potter's jesus christ he's not no <laughs> but what if he was he's not <laughs> <laughs> not jesus i think he might be though in the chat dr interrogative found a, a reddit post called the gospel in bionicle <laughs> oh uh -huh. we'll see you with that next year yep <laughs> All right, boots, hit the button. Let's get out. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be back in about ten minutes with uh, where's that tab? Um, uh, oh, it's the the yeah, the, the short political, erotic statements about political figures. Short erotic statements about political figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam uh, with Adam Lemon, Achilles Healy's Kumquat, Kathor, and JT with uh, Puppy Time on the Art. 